The AFC 330 is NIDEC's fully automated, non-Midriatic funders camera. The integrated 12 megapixel camera and computer in one compact device allow the capture of high quality images and a simple, easy to use automated process. The AFC 330 can be used as a standalone device, connect to an external PC to use NIDEX NavisX software, or can integrate into various practice management systems. It is fully diabetic screening accredited in the UK and has the ability to produce panoramic and anterior eye photos also. First of all, we have the LCD touchscreen, which is our main access to the functions of the AFC 330. Here we have a pilot lamp, which will let you know when it's on or off. It will also blink when it goes into sleep mode. On the actual device itself, we have the release and capture button. This is used to actually manually capture in manual mode. The joystick is used to move the device left, right, forwards and backwards, and then by rotating the joystick, move the device up and down. We also have the chin rest adjustment buttons here to move the chin rest up and down. We have the internal observation illumination button. At the back here, the button is used in manual mode when we are moving from anterior eye to into the fundus. The wheel is used for manual adjustment of focus. Over here is the locking button, just to secure it when the device is not in use. On this side of the device is the main on-off switch. As you see the screen at the moment, is the main default start position for the AFC 330. To run through the icons, here we have the off switch, which is used to power it down once you're finished with the device. This icon here turns on and off the auto capture option. Here we have a button to manually switch between auto and manual mode. And the icons down here are showing us that we have automatic tracking, automatic changing from anterior eye to fundus, automatic focus. At the bottom, this is our standard one shot of the fundus. This icon is able to take a stereo image of the fundus. This icon allows us to take a panoramic shot of the fundus. And this icon allows us to take an anterior shot of the eye. On the other side, we have the small pupil function. We also have the ability to quickly and easily drop the flash level. And here we do have the flash level. So we can easily move it up or move it down depending on the lighting conditions and the actual patient. Here we have an indication of the focus power needed to actually take the photo. On the screen itself, this is an indication of the eyelids and then we have two circles to give an indication of the pupil sizes. Ideally the outer circle, which equates to four millimeter pupil size, should be your minimum pupil size. If we press the small pupil mode, we go down to a smaller pupil size of 3.3 millimeters to allow us to take photos with a smaller pupil. On the side of the device here is a paddle which is used to increase the focusing range of the AFC 330. Pulling it out once increases the negative focusing range. Pulling it out again increases the positive focusing range. Normally, the paddle would be pushed fully in. So now we're ready to take some photographs of a patient. First of all, before we can take anything, we do need to register the details against the patient. We know that that part is active if we have a name or a number in the patient box here. Click on the clipboard icon, Fill in the details as necessary and then click the capture button. 
you will now see that there is a patient number in the box. So now we're all ready to take some shots of the fundus. We have the AFC 330 on fully automatic mode. We just need to position the patient. They need to place their chin on the chin rest and their forehead against the forehead rest here. Their eyes should be approximately at the level of the eye indicator here. To take the photo, all we do is move towards the eye, centering on the middle of the pupil, at the point of alignment, the AFC 330 will take over, focus and take the shot. And as we can see, everything is beautifully in focus. If we're happy with a shot, we just press the green circle. If we're not happy for any reason, we press the red cross. To take the shot of the left eye, we simply move across to the left hand side position the device in front of the patient's pupil and move forward to alignment. Once again, the AFC will take over and take the photo. And once again, if you're happy with the photo, you press the green circle. If you wish to repeat, press the red cross. Once we've taken all the photos, we are now in the patient thumbnail screen. If you have a practice management system which is linked to the AFC 330, you will now be able to access the photos on that. If the AFC 330 is connected to Navis X, they will now be available in the Navis X software. To return to the start screen, to take other photos of other patients, just press the green man. So now we're going to take an anterior eye photo. So for this one, we press the last icon. On screen, it will ask you to add the plus compensation lens, which is this paddle at the side. Just pull it out as far as it will go. In manual mode, you can see none of the icons are lit. All we do is position the camera where we would like the photo adjust the positioning to bring it into focus and then manually press the capture button. At this point, if we're happy with the photo, we would press the green circle. If we wish to retake it, we just press the red X. Lastly, to check if the objective lens is fully clean, it's important to pull out the infrared filter and on screen it will ask us if we would like to clean the objective lens. If we say yes, now turn the internal illumination to minimum. At this point, you need to be looking into the device through the objective lens and then reach round to, a, to adjust the internal illumination to a sufficient level to be able to see any marks or debris on the lens. Once again, if there is, polish off with a microfiber cloth. Once you're finished, push back in the infrared filter and reset the internal illumination to two. And then you're ready to take photos again. When you have finished using the AFC 330, remember to replace the lens cap over the objective lens. You then press the power button and it will ask you if you wish to shut down. If you press yes, you then need to wait a few seconds for it to boot down. And at that point, it will say it is okay to turn off the power.